The support for the Criminal Justice System Program, SCJS, a program funded by the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, and spearheaded by the Ministry of Legal Affairs, has made substantial progress in addressing the overcrowding in prisons. Project manager Indira Ananjit pointed this out when she gave a detailed appraisal of the program at a high-level review hosted at the Archer Chung Conference Center on Wednesday. From the program emanated a legal aid clinic. Following consultancy by John Kendrick to design a state-owned legal and program which focuses on minor non-violent offenses, the Legal Aid Clinic was established in January 2020. The Legal Aid Clinic, which is open to the public and its services are free of cost, has dealt with over 122 cases, of which 77 matters were completed, with 45 pending. The project manager also pointed out that the Ministry of Legal Affairs has drafted a restorative justice bill and developed standards, guidelines, and rules of procedure for the implementation of restorative justice in Guyana. Under the SCJS, a bail act will ensure greater consistency in the granting of bail and provide specific guidelines for magistrates and judges when granting bail. One other alternative to imprisonment is probation. This area is one that is encouraged by the SCJS. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Mohaber Anil Nandalal, who is also the SCJS program sponsor, highlighted that law reform is also critical to this program. Law reform must capture the aspirations of the people, of the society, the dynamism of the society. Law reform must capture that and make that part of the laws so that our laws can continue to have a realistic connection with the aspirations of our people or else our legal system will become obsolete and our people vision will be far ahead. As it relates to the Law Reform Commission, the Attorney General said that the body will begin performing duties on September 1. This commission is headed by retired Justice of Appeal, Bisraj Singh Roy.